Good morning and welcome from Glen Affric. It is the 4th of November, Saturday, and this is not what I was expecting this weekend because we have the tail end of one storm and the start of another apparently and I was expecting howling gales, lots of rain and what we've got is blue skies and a funny yellow thing in the sky I believe they call it the sun um, we woke up this morning and it was very misty but the sun's broken through it's actually not that cold considering it's November um, there was another camper in the park up last night they've gone, never even heard them leave heard them last night with slidey doors but hey ho campers have slidey doors so I'm off for a walk um, the last time we were here was Easter I don't think it was this year, I think it was last year I can't remember, my brain's fuddled. Um, and there was still snow in the hills. There's no snow. We haven't seen the head ranger yet to tell us that we should really only stop one night in the park up to give other folk a chance. But in November, I don't think he'll bother us. We came here because uh, this is my last week of day shift, morning shift, I'm back on back shift on Monday. So I left work at half past twelve, went shopping, went back to the house, unpacked the shopping, packed the van up and we left. And we got here. Yeah. It wasn't dark dark but it wasn't light neither. It was kinda in the middle of it, so we got parked up. But like I said, I wasn't expecting this this weekend. This was my suggestion, and then as the week went on, because of the weather reports, I thought, oh, maybe I've made a mistake, but it sounds like I haven't. Well, not so far. I have no idea what today's going to bring out tomorrow for that matter. But we came through some horrendous rain through Inverness and it stopped well, it wasn't as bad when we got to drum the rocket and then turned off to come this way uh, the trees are just stunning the colours are just unbelievable. It's uh, something else. I love this time of year. I love the colours. Don't like the cold, but I love the colours. So I hope you enjoy my little walk. I'm not sure where we're going. Like I said, we've done this. We've been here before. So I know kind of where I'm going-ish. It depends if I go the same route or not. The main car park is up here. For the walkers. And obviously when we came at Easter, it was full of cars, a couple of campers and a couple of motorhomes. And David's flying his drone, because I can hear it. It's, uh, it's kind of do it while we know the weather's reasonable. But it's like a different world up here. Because when I went into the supermarket yesterday, the sorry, the road 
was fine. When I came out 40 minutes later, the road was flooded because of the amount of rain, which is why I was a bit concerned coming here. Because you're higher up. The lock is part of the hydro system, and to be honest, it ain't that full. But they'll pump the water back up at night and then push it through again. It's all part and parcel of what they do. I'm sorry if the sun's in your faces, but David will no doubt edit out what he can't use. <laughs> Most of my waffling, no doubt. This is us at the car park and this is the river walk. Well, it's a park to the river walk. Um, I'm not sure how far we're going to get because I'm not sure how monkey it's going to be. So, bear with. The car park is slightly fuller than I was expecting but then I found out why. There's no car parking charges. It's closed for the season. But then people have a right to come and enjoy the forest at any time of the year. I have done this walk before. This is lovely. So sorry, I may switch you off quite a few times to take pictures because like I said the trees are stunning. And also if people come by I'm not sure where they're going. I don't care really, it's none of my business. So. I've seen one man jogging. More full him. But Sorry, there's tree roots everywhere, and one guy came roaring into the park up, uh, I think he must have thought he was in a Formula One racetrack, um, got a rucksack out and what looked like a very large camera with a very fluffy microphone on it and disappeared. Sorry, the steps are a bit steep. I'll try not to swear, but I'm not promising. They're very slippy because obviously there's been a lot of rain, there's a lot of fallen leaves, and there's a lot of muck. There we go. I'm not sure what you can see. <laughs> because the sun's in my eyes. Maybe I should have put my sunglasses on, I don't know. It seems ridiculous wearing sunglasses in November. Here we go. Oh. 
One good thing about November, no midges. This place would be murder in the summer. Oh, right. One, two, three. Okay, for that one. What do you think? Oh, I might turn you down a bit. Sorry, fingers. Is that better? She shouldn't leave an amateur in charge of a camera. When we woke up, you couldn't see any of this at all. Oh, snow. <laughs> or maybe it's just white rocks, but I think it's snow. Probably never leaves a whole year. I know Cairn Gorms had its fair share of snow. I'll leave that to the skiers, I'm not interested. I spent a week in Austria learning, trying to learn how to ski and decided I didn't like it because I couldn't stop well, without hitting something I'm too much of a coward I'm too much of a control freak Sounds loud and big. It's probably somebody going over the cow grid. Sorry, this is pretty boring, but like I said, I'm gonna have to watch where I'm putting my feet. Other well, folk will probably come up and down these like really fast. And he doesn't do fast. switch you off for a while just save the battery because it's uh, uh, not exactly exciting this bit and when I get to a more exciting bit I'll switch you back on again
if you can hear me over the noise, this is the River Afric. I didn't put you on beside the rocky path because honestly I couldn't hear myself think it was that loud. I have taken pictures, but sorry, the sun is glaring right in the wrong place, so you may end up not seeing any of this. But There are two paths to go beside the, well, one path that takes you directly beside the river, which is called the rocky path, and the easy path, you just miss it out. Because I've done the rocky path and that was when it was dry and I will not be doing it in this weather. But this is us on our way back up to the main car park. And... Uh, I'm not sure how much further I'm going to go. I'll have to wait and see. Um, curiosity always gets the better of me, but I'm definitely not going up to the Memorial Cairn. It's too skitey. But I'll switch you off for now, and I'll put you back on when I get a minute. I hope you can see this. This is at the seat beside the car park and this is the reason people come to Glen Affric. Like I said, there's lots of cars in the car park but I haven't seen a soul while I've been walking around at all. You can hear the river, you can possibly hear doors slamming as people are getting in and out of their cars to so go for a walk, go up the hills, whatever. But this is quite enough for me, thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed today's walk. I know I have because the last few weeks we've been away in Desmond haven't really had a chance to go out because of the weather last week in Huntley, Angela and I went for a walk and came back looking like two drowned rats yeah. it's dry it's not cold I'm overdressed that's normal so Take care all. Sorry, my glasses are probably steamed up and breathing too hard. But this is me at the seat at Glen Affric. And there's not a soul around. Just that alone me. I don't know where the rest of them have gone, but they're not where I'm at. That's good. So like I said, I hope you've enjoyed today's walk. It wasn't very far, but it was far enough. And I'll catch you the next time. Take care all. Thank you for watching Desmond's Donners. And remember, please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.